Hello, this is Joe for Fuji Electric HMI support, and today we're going to be discussing how to connect a V9 HMI to a Frenic AES VFD. We're going to be using the secondary COM port on the ACE, which is a serial port on RS-485, and on the V9 HMI we can use one of three ports, the D-Sub 9 style CN1 port or the RJ-45 style MJ-1 and MJ-2 ports. Keep in mind that this is the case for 8 inch and above V9 HMIs. For the 6 and 7 inch V9 HMIs, you will only find the MJ1 and MJ2 ports, not the CN1 port. However, using the EXT1 extension here, an additional port can be added to the back. When communicating using the COM port 2 on the VFD and the CN1 port on the HMI, use this wiring diagram. When using when the MJ ports on the HMI, use this wiring diagram. When using the MJ2 port on the 6 or 7 inch V9, please be sure the rear sliding switch is set to use two wire comms. For communicating with the VFD, be sure that the dip switches are in the off position. Let's start with configuring the VFD. We need to make it so that the COM port 2 on the VFD is able to accept commands, frequency, and run from an exterior source. So, to start, we need to go to Program, and then uh, to H, Function Data. You need to go to H30. Be sure this is set to 8. That sets it to use RS-485 on COM port 2 for frequency and run commands. Program. Go back up. Next is Y20. and Y20, that needs to be set to zero. That zero will set comms protocol on port two to Modbus. And now, back to Y11. We need this set to one. That sets the station number on the serial bus. Now that that's all set, we can go to configuring the HMI. Let's move on to configuring the HMI. Open up vSoft 6 and open a new application. We'll set the model to the one that you have. I have a V908IS. The remaining drop downs can be left for default here. For the connected device, to select a Frenic VFD, you're going to need thermo controller, servo inverter in the top drop down, then Fuji Electric, then Frenic Ace. And I'm going to be using the CN1 port to communicate with it. Click Finish. By default, the correct communications uh, parameters will be selected for the default factory configuration of the VFD. So we can hit Close now. Let's start by placing a switch part on the screen. Double click to open up Detail Settings. Select Output Device and Output Setting. Make sure that it's PLC1. Let me click over here on the red button that looks like a keypad. Pulls up this window and then we click Open. This opens up a uh, field, uh, a new window, that will allow you to select a variety of different bits across the entire uh, VFD control system. For now, we can just do forward. Hit finish. Let's place a second switch, and this one we'll be using to set up the reverse. Do the same, and we open up reverse and finish. Now, let's place a numerical display because we want to be able to control frequency. We start with content, PLC1, we open up our tags, 
we have to scroll down for a little while. All right, it's on for a second there. Frequency reference, here we go. So, now with frequency reference, we can set the speed as used for referencing. And we're also going to want to go to function, and go to entry target, display the keyboard, overlap library. We want to register a new keypad. Just go with default. This one looks great. And we'll specify a location with the mouse. Have it pop up right there. And we'll now transfer the application to the HMI. So let's go to transfer, then download. We'll check communication setting. I'm using USB here. And then we'll transfer. Take just a moment. Everything's written out. Let's go check on the HMI and VFD. Okay, so now we see that the application is transferred to the HMI. As you can see, there is a zero on the HMI and a zero on the VFD. If we click here, we hit two, two, zero, zero, enter. We now see two, two, zero, zero over on the VFD. This is a frequency reference of 2000. 200. And as we hold down the switch, we see that the forward switch produces a clockwise rotation. Uh, and we hold down the reverse switch counterclockwise. Now these switches are set up as momentary, so as soon as my finger is off, they are off. They can be set up as a permanent basis or controlled by a macro, of course. Thank you for watching this presentation by Fuji Electric. We hope that this has answered any questions you might have had, but if not, please feel free to contact us directly for any assistance you might need. Thank you.